Today we're going to be taking a look at the scientist gloves in Fallout New Vegas. Now there is five of these things, so there's quite a lot that you can pick. These are all found in the Old World Blues DLC. This is the third DLC for Fallout, and these can be found in a variety of ways. Some of them are in specific locations. The regular scientist glove you can find just laying around in the area. Sometimes you find it in boxes. Sometimes the lobotomites have it as well, if they don't have the better Saturnite fist which is just kind of a better unarmed weapon overall. Let's talk about each of these, their stats, and what they're kind of good at and good against. So very first up, we have the Scientist Glove. And like I said, you can find this on Lobotomites, or you can find it just laying around the DLC. This one requires 25 unarmed and two strength to wield, so most unarmed builds are gonna be able to use this right away. That's not a big deal. This does 21 damage on hit, which is okay. That's not super high, but it's not super low either. 29 damage per second. These don't attack very fast. They have about the same attack speed as something like the Power Fist and the same attack animation, so they're kind of awkward to use in that regard. They have five crit damage. I don't know why the crit damage is so low on these things. It has an above average crit chance though for some odd reason of 1.5 times. So that's, I guess, kind of good, even though hitting crits doesn't really matter, at least with the regular scientist glove. And this one requires 28 action points to use in vats, which is also not way great for the amount of damage it does. It weighs two weight, so it is affected by the pack rat perk, funny enough, and it only has 50 item health. There's also no additional effects with this. The regular scientist glove doesn't really have a whole lot going for it. The other versions have a whole lot more, and also there's no real reason for you to be using the Scientist Glove because you can get the unique version, or one of the unique versions, right away, and the other versions you'll probably get throughout the rest of the DLC. So the regular Scientist Glove really doesn't have much of a purpose, unless you're specifically not using unique weapons and you're only using DLC weapons, in which case maybe it could be useful on an unarmed build, but even then... Not really. For the pros of the Scientist Glove, these are very easy to find. Lobotomites tend to have them. You can find them in boxes. You can use them to repair other fist weapons, so that's kind of nice. You can use them to repair all of the Scientist Gloves. You don't even need jury rigging for that, so that is something that is good. The damage per second is okay, at least with some of the other versions. The regular one, not as much. Same with the damage. And there is a lot of unique versions to this, so I guess all of those are pros to the Scientist Glove. For the major cons though, it has very low item HP, it's gonna break really fast, and it just has low stats all the way around. Low damage, low damage per second, low crits, extra crit chance, but that doesn't really matter when your crits aren't hitting that much harder. It does have all of the perks going for it though, like most unarmed and melee weapons, so you do actually have quite a few perks that affect these. Slayer is really good, because increased attack speed. Piercing Strike for armor breaking, Super Slam to knock down enemies, Purifier to kill things like Death Claws and Super Mutants and whatnot, and Pyromaniac actually works with this one, at least with one of these, with the Sterilizer Glove. It doesn't work with any of the others, but that one is technically considered a fire weapon, so that is nice that it actually gets more damage from Pyromaniac. For an overall rating for the Scientist Glove, I'd probably put this thing into like D tier. It's really not that great, it's probably one of the worst unarmed weapons in the entire game. It's still usable because it has okay enough damage and unarmed and melee kind of carries itself thanks to perks, so it's not going to go into F tier, but it's definitely going to go very low D tier. Let's move on to some of the other unique versions of the glove that we got too. So we've got the corrosive glove, this is the green glove. This one requires 55 unarmed. The, some of the Old World Blues weapons kind of have weird stats like this. It requires two strength as well. This one does the exact same damage as the scientist glove, doing 21. Actually does less damage per second at 23, so it tags a little bit slower. This has a lower crit modifier at one time. It costs the same action points at 28. It weighs four weight in total, so it's twice as heavy as a regular glove. And it has 150 item health, so this one won't break very fast that's nice it also has a unique effect on top of that where if you hit something it will deal two damage to it for 10 seconds it has like the same effect when you punch something as when you kill the spore people where it kind of sprays that out or when you kill some of the bugs when they pop it's a little bit strange this one is slightly better than the scientist glove but not by very much the corrosive damage over time doesn't really help you that much and the damage per second and damage is still very low at least this one doesn't break very fast, so this one's also going to go into D tier, slightly above the Scientist Glove, but not by that much. It's not really a great option. Our third glove is the Sterilizer Glove that we talked about where it is actually affected by Pyromaniac, so you can get more damage and damage per second out of this, which is kind of useful. This one also requires 55 unarmed and 2 strength to wield. This one still does the 21 damage per hit, although that can be upped quite a bit by Pyromaniac since that gives you 50% more damage, so that's actually kind of useful. Has the same DPS as the regular Scientist Glove, but again with Pyromaniac, that actually increases it quite a bit, so 29. Still does 5 crit damage, still has a 1x crit modifier, still costs 28 action points. This one only weighs 3, 
So it's a little bit better than the corrosive glove. This one has 200 item health, so it's not gonna break quick at all. That's actually really nice for an unarmed weapon. And then this one does an additional fire damage on top of it, dealing two fire damage for five seconds. The main advantage this one has going for it is just simply that Pyromaniac affects it, and that makes it stronger by default. If you don't have Pyromaniac though, this is gonna feel basically the same as the corrosive glove or the scientist glove. Just if you want fire on it, you can have that. It's kind of a cool glove. I would put this one a tier higher than the other two in the low C tier, but it's still not really that great. It's mostly Pyromaniac carrying it. And if you wanna go with a fire weapon build, there's better fire weapons. Specifically in this DLC, there is a far better fire unarmed weapon if you wanna use that. So I just suggest that you take a look at the Saturnite Fist Superheated. That one is way, way better. And it's just one of the best unarmed weapons in the game. For our fourth glove, we have Dr. Klein's glove. You can find this one like right at the very start of the DLC. So you might as well grab Dr. Klein's glove over any of the other gloves, at least over the scientist glove. This one requires 45 unarmed. Again, another weird stat. This one requires three strength. It's actually the highest strength requirement out of any of these gloves, which is strange. Three strength is fine though. You're probably gonna have that on an unarmed character. This one does 34 damage per hit. So it is quite a bit better. 46 damage per second, which is also better. Better. has five crit damage on it so that's not way great has a three times crit modifier though which is actually pretty good that is substantial and crits on this one do work a little bit differently with his effect this only costs 18 action points so it is far better in vats than the other scientist gloves weighs four weight has 100 item health which is okay for item health this also has multiple effects on it too where once you hit an enemy this actually makes it so it reduces their energy weapons by five for 30 seconds that doesn't usually matter against most enemies, but it can be useful against some of the robots. So that, that's kind of something. This also reduces their strength by two for 30 seconds, which is, uh, I guess, okay against melee enemies to where they won't hit you as hard. And then on the crit effect, once you punch something and you get a crit, it also reduces their strength by an additional one. So reduce their strength by three, which again, can be useful against melee enemies. And it also reduces their damage threshold by one for 60 seconds. So they effectively lose one armor on them, which is okay against light armored enemies or clothing enemies where they only have like two defense on them. Dr. Klein's glove is quite a bit better than the other gloves that we've talked about so far. It's still not an amazing glove by any means. It's still not going to outcompete others, but it is very unique. And if you want something that just has a bunch of effects on it, this one is okay. And I would say that it's very low B tier, maybe high C tier. I usually don't go for this one out of the gloves, but it is an option if you want to take it. And it's a really early game option. So if you want to rush right to Old World Blues, you can grab this one right away. And on an unarmed build, this one can be pretty good, especially if you just plan on using this up to the point where you can either get the next glove, which is Mobius's glove, or until you can get the Saturnite Fist superheated, which is gonna be one of the best unarmed weapons in the game. So it does kind of have a place there. And then our very last glove is Dr. Mobius's glove, which is by far the best glove because it belongs to Dr. Mobius of all characters. And he's one of the, my favorite characters in the entire game. You find this in the Forbidden Zone with Dr. Mobius. So you're gonna get this at the very end of the main quest DLC. And this one requires 35 unarmed. Again, another weird stat two strength to wield it. This one does 28 damage on hit, which is 38 damage per second, which is also okay. This one also does five crit damage, so still very low crit damage. Has a two times crit modifier, so higher chance of hitting crits, which can be useful because this one also has effects similar to Klein's glove. This one only requires 15 action points, making it actually quite good in a VATS build. Weighs three weight, has 100 item health, which is okay. And then it has multiple effects when you hit enemies. So if you hit an enemy and this isn't a crit, then this reduces their energy weapons by five for 30 seconds and it also reduces their perception by two for 30 seconds which i guess would also help with energy weapons so that's kind of useful the main advantage this one has though is when you hit crits with it because that has two additional effects on top of it where it can knock back enemies which can be pretty good in certain situations, especially against melee enemies. And it can also cause frenzy. If you hit an enemy and they frenzy, they will go and attack other nearby enemies, which is actually kind of useful. That's decent enough. That actually makes us a very unique weapon and it's not a bad weapon to be carrying around if you want to take it for an unarmed build just for that reason. For a rating for Dr. Mobius's glove, I would actually put this right into B tier. I think it's good enough to be there because it is unique. Again, you can kind of rush it if you want to go to the DLC early. It's not going to be like my go-to unarmed weapon, at least for actually killing stuff. I'll take something like the Fist of Ra or the Superheated Saturnite Fist for that. But still, it has its own place and it can be pretty good. And that includes all of the scientist gloves. We have quite a lot of them to look at. 
but uh, some of these are pretty decent. Mobius' glove is pretty good. Klein's glove can be good if you're rushing Old World Blues. The rest aren't really worth taking. I mean, it's kind of cool that one of them is affected by Pyromaniac, but again, you have better unarmed in that DLC. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Tell me your thoughts on the Scientist glove and all of its variants down in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.